Hey, hi, hello. Only just made it to Nightlet without having to put the electric light on. It's a gloomy day where I live today. But it started off this morning so hot, well, warm, and so sunny. I didn't even need a jacket on, just my shirt at work. Then it got a bit windy. Now it's pouring with rain and it's just grey outside. <laughs> but anyway, we're here to brighten up our afternoon, our evening, with a little bit more Dr. Seuss. Remember yesterday, if you saw yesterday, we did the cat in the hat. And today, we're going to have a bit more Dr. Seuss, by request of the children in my class. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, we did Cat in the Hat yesterday. There is a sequel, a book two, called The Cat in the Hat Comes Back. However, I'm not going to do this one. Just, it doesn't really work. I'm going to be brave and just say it. It doesn't really work in the UK, because the rhymes don't really work, because... A couple of times, the rhymes have to rhyme with this letter here. Dr. Seuss, an American chap, would say Z. In America, this letter is Z. In the UK, this letter is Z. It doesn't work. I'll read a little bit. Now, here is the Z you can't see, said the cat. And I bet you can't guess what is in his hat. And then there's another bit over here. It says, take your hat off now, little cat Zed. Take the voom off your head and make it clean up the snow. It just, it doesn't work with a Z and a Z and a Z and a Z. So I'm not going to do this one. But it is there if you want to have a look at it, all right? Call, call me fussy. <laughs> but I'm going to be fussy. So instead, tonight, we're going for another one of my favourite Dr. Seuss's. We're going for green eggs and ham tonight. I'm not going to do voices in this one because in this one, my tongue uh, gets twisted. It is a tongue twister and a half. I'm going to try my hardest and I'm still going to hold it this way to show you on the screen as well. Wish me luck. This one has got Sam in it. There he is, look. I am Sam. Oh, I'm not going to do the voices, are we? There he goes. Old I am Sam. Sam, I am. Here he comes. <laughs> Right, are you holding tight? Here we go. That Sam I am, that Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. But do, do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? Not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you, could you, in a car, Eat them, eat them, here they are. I would not, could not in a car. You may like them, you will see. You may like them in a tree. I would not, could not in a tree, not in a car, just let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am. A train, a train, a train, a train. Could you, would you, on a train? <sighs> not in a train, not in a tree, not in a car. Sam, let me be. I would not, could not, in a box. I could not, would not, with a fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. 
a bit faster, didn't I? Be impressed. <laughs> Say, in the dark, here, in the dark, would ye, could ye, in the dark? Uh, I would not, could not, in the dark. Would you, could you, in the rain? I would not, could not, in the rain, not in the dark, not on a train, not in a car, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in a house, not in a box, not with a mouse, not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. You do not like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam, I am. Could you, would you, with a goat? <sighs> I would not, could not, with a goat. Would you, could you, on a boat? I could not, would not, on a boat. I will not, will not, with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on a tree. Not in the dark, not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I will not eat them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. You do not like them, so you say. Try them, try them, and you may. Try them, and you may, I say. Oh, Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them, and you will see. Sam, I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam I am. And I would eat them in a boat and I would eat them with a goat. And I will eat them in the rain and in the dark and on a train and in a car and in a tree. They are so good, so good, you see. So I will eat them with a box and I will eat them with a fox and I will eat them in a house and I will eat them with a mouse and I will eat them here and there and I will eat them anywhere. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you. Thank you, Sam, I am. That was a short one, wasn't it? <sighs> Should we do one more? Let's do one more. And then I th I've got an idea. So, I've seen that they're on, on um, I can't remember, one of, the, um, one of the services that you could subscribe to. I think it's the one that starts with N and ends with Netflix has this as a series on there like a recently made series it's all right my my younger son's watched it it's all right but um i've also seen there was one made a long long time ago as well maybe in the 70s i've seen one i'll see if i can find a link to it and i'll put it in the description so you've just heard me read green eggs and ham now pause this video go down to the description and find find the link to the video of that in there all right I'll, I'll wait right here for you all right come back though because i'm going to do another story all right are you back did you watch it cool let's do another story then hang on i've just got to find it first okay i found the other story so you just watched Green Eggs and Ham. Like I said, I think it was a 70s version. There's another one which has got a 70s little animation as well called The Sneetches. I often use the animation for The Sneetches in assemblies at school when I want to talk about um, feeling different and how it's okay to be different. I love people being different. Who wants to be the same as everyone else? The Sneetches do. Should we read this story as well? It's a bit longer, so I reckon another 10 minutes. You got time for me? I hope so. Let's do the sneetches. Ready? Here they are. Now, the star belly sneetches had bellies with stars. The plain belly sneetches had none upon theirs. Those stars weren't so big, they were really so small. You might think such a thing wouldn't matter at all. But... 
because they had stars, all the star belly sneeches would brag, we're the best kind of sneech on the beaches. With their sneets in the air, they would sniff and they'd snort. We'll have nothing to do with the plain belly sort. And whenever they met some, when they were out walking, they'd saunter straight past them without even talking. When the star belly children went out to play ball, could a plain belly get in the game? Not at all. You only could play if your bellies had stars and the plain belly children had none upon theirs. When the star belly sneeches had frankfurter roasts or picnics or parties or marshmallow toasts, they never invited the plain belly sneeches and left them out cold in the dark on the beaches. They kept them away, never let them come near, and that's how they treated them year after year. I'll try and show you the pictures, but I'll link the animation afterwards as well. Then one day, it seems, while the plain belly sneeches were moping and doping along on the beaches, just sitting there wishing their bellies had stars, a stranger zipped up in the strangest of cars. Hey, friends, he announced in a voice clear and keen. My name is Sylvester McMonkey McBean, and I've heard of your troubles. I've heard you're unhappy, but I can fix that. I'm a fix-it-up chappy. I've come here to help you. I have what you need, and my prices are low, and I work at great speed, and my work is 100% guaranteed. Then quickly, Sylvester McMonkey McBean put together a very peculiar machine, and he said, You want stars like a starbelly sneech? My friends, you can have them for three dollars each. Just pay me your money and hop right aboard. So they clambered inside, then the big machine roared and it lonked and it bonked and it jerked and it burked and it bopped all them about. But the thing really worked. When the plain belly sneeches popped out, they had stars. They actually did. They had stars upon theirs. Then they yelled at the ones who had stars at the start. We're exactly like you, you can't tell us apart. We're all just the same now, you snooty old smarties. Now you can go back to your frankfurter parties. Good grief, groaned the ones who had stars at the first. We're still the best sneeches and they are the worst. But now how in the world will we know, they all frowned. If which kind is what and the other way round. Then up came McBean with a very sly wink, and he said, Things are not quite as bad as you think, so you don't know who's who. That's perfectly true. But come with me, friends. Do you know what I'll do? I'll make you again the best sneeches on beaches, and all it will cost you is $10 eaches. Belly stars are no longer in style said McBean. What you need is a trip through my star off machine. This wondrous contraption will take off your stars so you won't look like sneeches who had them on theirs. And that handy machine, working very precisely, removed all the stars from their tummies quite nicely. All the rest of the day on those wild screaming beaches, the fix-it-up chappy kept fixing up sneeches. Off again, on again, in again, out again, through the machines they raced round and about again. Changing their stars every minute or two, they kept paying money, they kept running through. Until neither the plane nor the star bellies knew whether this one was that one or that one was this one. Or which one was one or one which was who. Then when every last cent of their money was spent, the fix-it-up chappy... <clears throat> packed up and he went and he laughed as he drove in his car up the beach they will never learn no you can't teach a sneech but McBean was quite wrong I'm happy to say that sneeches got really quite smart on that day that day they decided the sneeches are sneeches and no kind of sneech is the best on the beaches that day all the sneeches forgot about stars and whether they had one or not upon theirs and that's the end of that little tale there you go, that was the Sneeches. I'll put a link down below to that animation too. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to find them. Now I'm giving you the big talk. Gosh. Right, there you go. Two Dr. C stories for the price of one tonight, you lucky things. All right, come back tomorrow. We'll um we'll have another go. I've got quite a pile to get through. <laughs> I'm not going to do all of them, don't worry. I'm not going to do like ABC or anything like that. I might do uh, the other tongue twister tomorrow. This one, whew, this one does make my tongue twist in knots. I might do the Lorax. Oh no, that's a film, isn't it? Might do Horton Hears a Who. Um, might do Yertle the Turtle as well. There's so many in here. But there we go. We'll get, we'll get to them when we get to them, won't we? All right. 
enjoy them and I'll see you all tomorrow. Watch the animations. <laughs> Night.